and we're at Christ Church with Michael Moenzo. Michael, welcome to Rochester. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. All right. So, radio presenter Ronnie Scotts, now you're in New York with Dizzy's. Talk about that journey from there to here. That's a long story. I mean, I mean, I'll give you a small sample. Um, as a little boy, I used to go to the club and see many great musicians over the years. Uh, Betty Carter, Ray Brown, Tommy Flanagan, a lot of people. My mother was very good friends with the manager that used to work there. His name was Moses. And they had known each other f from a very young age. And my mother, being a single mother, she would have to work at night. So I w she would drop me off at the club because she knew him and then pick me up when she would come back from work. So I would go there and then years later, from going there as a kid, if the journey was like then to go there and become part of the, the club and start the jam session there, which we first started, which was one, one night a week, and then that developed into four nights a week, which we did downstairs. And that became something which is still present there. And that's the late show and the jam session they have, which is, yeah. Talk about that scene in the jam session over there, because so many different musicians, young musicians who came from hip hop, who came from rap, find themselves in the jazz world, and they, instead of changing it, came to jazz instead of making jazz to rap. How is that? How were you able to work with that scene? Because it seems so cool that what you had going there. Well, I mean, I never really got involved in the hip hop, but I mean, there's a lot. You have a lot of Afro Caribbeans that live there. Like you just, in, you just were talking to one, Courtney Pine, and they have a large history of of reggae music and ska music. You have a lot of musicians who were part of that scene that were part of the Alpha Boys School in Jamaica, mm -hmm. which had people uh, from the Scatterlights, the original Scatterlights, uh, Don Drummond, the great trombonist. Uh, Rico Rodriguez, who pl who's a great trombonist that plays with uh, a boogie, boogie woogie pianist we have in London called Jules Holland. And there's a large array of musicians that come from that school. They were all orphans in the 1940s and 50s, and then they became musicians. So there's like a lineage of, of, of Afro-Caribbean musicians who have a direct kind of tradition to ska music and Jamaican music and fuse it with jazz. So there's a lot of musicians. Courtney Pine, he kind of does a lot more of that now. He brings a lot of, that, of his heritage into the music and a lot of other musicians too. But I was never really part of that per se, but it's definitely something that was, is unique to how musicians there in, in London, those kind of musicians deal with the music. And then there's other styles of music too. And how everyone deals with the music in, the, in their own personal way. Speak with Michael Moenzo here on Jazz 90.1. That's it, talk about the music today as you do a lot of the programming for the late night series at Dizzy's in New York. Yeah. Talk about what you're looking for in terms of your ear and how you think it'll go over well and, and the selection process, because I think it's really great what you've been doing there lately. Well, I appreciate that. I, um, it's, a very interesting, it's a very interesting situation to be in because you are in a position to be able to, to, to play the music, present the music, and to teach me. I get opportunity to, to go into schools and teach, to be able to perform in the club, to be able to have a say so with our artistic director Whit Marcellus and our director of programming Jason O'Lane in what is forthcoming. And and that's a very unique experience for me because to be with someone like Winton who has his his understanding of the music, what he wants, and for him to give me the opportunity to have my say so is is a very unique situation for someone because you know I I come I was born in Sierra Leone and then I came to England and then now I'm here so that journey for me is unique and to be able to for instance now I'm just I'm, I was just talking to, to Jono who's who helped us come here he, he works at Jazz Lincoln Center he works in education and I was just telling him about Benny Golson we're trying to get him for, to come into the club next year and to be able for me as a that little boy that would see Benny Golson as a kid in London, not for me to have a correspondence with him and get him into the club and email with him and talk to him on the phone. For me, I'm just like, it's a dream. It's a dream for me, you know. And the music is, 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 is continued always to be a blessing, you know. Speaking of Michael Moenzo here on Jazz 90.1, that's it as a performer. Who are some of the people that you inf influenced you and when you perform, how would you describe your style? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still, I'm still trying to work it out. I mean, it's, it's always, you know, I'm telling you, it's, it's, well, you know, you talk about, it, there's an array of artists who inspire me, and the whole diaspora of the music. Like, we just had one of them that died yesterday that was a comp deep influence on me. You know, I saw him live twice, Bobby Blue Bland. Now, he was, for me, he's one of the greatest singers of the 20th century, one of them, for what he did in his form. 
then Billy Eckstein, then Andy Bay, then John Hendricks, then, you know, uh, Russ Colombo, you know, then it could be Johnny Taylor. It matters for me. It's always for me the person who has the greatness of their artistry in the form that they create. So John Hendricks is great at his form, but then Bobby Bland is great at his form. You know, I would say like uh, same church, different pews. <laughs> like they are great at what they do, yeah. you know. That said, so how do we reach this music that we call jazz to the next generation, the kids, let's say, who are just being exposed to jazz or, or blues for that matter, how do we get them to enjoy this music and understand this music? Because sometimes we feel there's, there's kind of a gap between us and them and where there shouldn't be, especially with music that created by African Americans. Well, art, art is always going to have its hardship of getting to people because it's art. You don't just read Shakespeare one day and get it. You have to read it again and again and again. And that's the thing about anything that has potency. Um, it's like your mama cooking you food or something like that and you don't like it at first, but then you like it. And, and jazz is, is very much like that. It's something that it has to grow on you because it's part of your humanity. And you, just, you might not like it straight away. There's a lot of musicians I didn't like straight away. You know, but as I've gone through things in my life, ups and downs, they've, made, they've been prevalent to me. And I always say that. That's the thing about the music is that the music is always teaching you and opening your eyes to things. And you're not going to like something straight away, you know, but you will one day, you know. Speaking of Michael Mowenzo here on Jazz 90.1. So that said, what can we expect out of tonight's show? And who's going to be in the band with you? Oh, we have some, some great musicians with us. It's a blessing always to play with musicians that inspire you. Uh, the drummer, he actually is from New Jersey. He's a young extraordinaire of drums. Um, just a, His name is Evan Sherman. And he's already making waves on the scene. He's already playing with Ron Carter and Jimmy Heath young man of great intelligence and, and depth, understands the music on a very emotional and spiritual level, which is very rare. Then on the piano we have, he actually is a, a, a student, a protege of, of the great Marcus Roberts. He studied with him in Florida, then came in and, and studied at uh, William Patterson. His name is Chris Pattershaw, he's from Durham. And he's a man of great understanding of what to do and what not to do. And that's very important, because you need to have someone like that. Then on the bass, he just, yeah, I love him. His name is Chris Smith. He, he actually played a lot with the great Jeffrey Tain Watts and a lot of other musicians. So he understands how to, you know, so that's important. So it's an honor to play with them and a blessing. And I love them. It's just, I just love being with them in the car. It's like some people, you be in the car with them, it's like, when are we getting out of here? But with them, it's just like, it's beautiful. It's love. So that said, so who have you been listening to on the MP3 player or on, or on your uh, iPod these days. That's funny you say that because in the car, it's like six hours from New York, we had a whole conundrum over like what to listen to. The, 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 my CDs didn't work that I'd spent all day on trying to get the thing and then the iPod didn't work. But we were just listening to uh, Sarah Vaughan we were listening to. I like to listen to a lot of different people. Sarah Vaughan and Eddie Lockjaw Davis. And, I mean everybody. I try and listen. To, it's very important to listen to the music and the whole understanding of the music. It's very important. Check him out. Two shows tonight at Christ Church. Michael Moenzo, thank you so much for joining us and have a great show. Thank you very much and thank you for what you're doing for the music.